You know, some pet owners are raving about the latest craze in house pets, but there are things to consider before you run out and buy one. Fox 6's Sherry Palmieri takes a closer look at some really cool cats. Meet three-year-old Saya and four-month-old Starbuck. They are Savannah cats. Breeders estimate there are only about 5,000 or less in the world. They typically have a lot more energy than domestic cats. And perhaps why? Savannah cats, which first started to be bred in the 1980s, are a cross between the nearly endangered wild African serval and a domestic cat. They are the largest hybrid cat that exists. The unique thing about this breed is you can walk them on a leash just like a dog, and they actually seem to enjoy it. Say, uh, come here. They'll come when you call them. And did I mention they like to play fetch, too? Savannah owners say the breed is extremely friendly, playful, vocal. You give me a kiss? And curious in nature. They're constantly trying to get into trouble. Will you balance up there? Sam Finley of Ramona breeds Savannah cats. Oh, look at that. However, she's not allowed to breed first-generation savannas because it's not legal to own a serval in California. In fact, in some states, it's not even legal to own a savannah cat. In California, there's no problem with them. They are definitely accepted. They are bred to take on the wild appearance of the serval, with its spots, long head, and large ears. And these designer cats come with designer price tags. The cost of a savanna depends on what generation away from the wild. The closer it is to the wild, the more expensive they are. The F1s will run male and female between four to ten thousand dollars. The F2s will generally run twenty-five hundred to five thousand dollars. And if the price didn't scare you off, there are some things potential owners should consider before purchasing a hybrid cat. Things as simple as finding a boarding facility when you go on vacation may not be easy. Finding a veterinarian to take care of this individual may not be easy. Finding the right vaccinations or the right nutrition is going to take that much more work. Sam says savannas need to be fed raw meat daily, and she has a warning of her own. You should realize that you have a cat with more intelligence that you're probably used to. Some owners say if you don't catch on to their games quick enough, they'll get annoyed, and they may end up training you instead of the other way around. In Sorrento Valley, Sherry Palmieri, Fox 6 News. Boy, it's like having a dog, isn't it? Yes, it <laughs> Sam, is. Sam Finley is with us this morning to talk a little bit more about these savanna cats. You know, and we've been told this all the time, that wild animals do not make good pets. So how safe is it to have a cat that's, even though it's only crossed with a, with, that it's crossed with a, a domesticated cat? I mean, is it still safe? Yes, it definitely is. Uh, I don't recommend F1s, which is the first generation away from the wild. Uh, they're a little higher strung. But these cats are very active, they're very playful, and they love to interact with people. Uh, they even like to enjoy your computer with you. Okay, so if you're looking for a cat like this, and you said F1s, which is the first generation removed from the, from the wild animal, uh, what do you recommend? How many generations should you uh, like? F1s are fine for breeders, but like F2s would make a good household pet all the way down to, you know, six, seven, eight generations away from the wild. Okay. The farther they get away from the wild, the more domestic they start behaving. Well, we got a lot of the details uh, from watching uh, Sherry's story, but what I'm curious about is when did this start? Who decided that this was go a good idea? Uh, it started back in the uh, 80s with the savannas. But uh, the Bengals were preceding them, uh, showing that you could cross a domestic with some wild cats and duplicate the breed. And the people do that for the purpose of knowing that a lot of these cats will become extinct, that we will have something around in a domestic variety to recall the ones that we used to have on this earth and don't have anymore. Well, when you talk about some cats, what cats are we talking? I mean, we couldn't take my cat, right, Moo, and, and just cross him with him. He's fluffy and cute. And no, not <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> we try to stay to cats that will look similar to the cat that we're trying to duplicate. So, like with the savannas, we use Egyptian mouths, we use Bengals. Lose Oriental short hairs and a domestic short hair okay. to cross to. Now, Sherry's story, uh, she said these you can p 
pay anywhere from four to ten thousand dollars for one of these cats? Yes, if you get farther away from them, uh, farther away from the serval, uh, you can get them down to fifteen hundred, twelve hundred. But the ones close are very expensive. And they do, if you're willing and committed, they do make a good pet. But you have to be willing to commit the time and the energy that it takes. They want your attention and want to interact with humans. Yeah. They just love the attention, the play, the walk on the leash. How, all do, they do, how do they do with dogs? Love dogs because the dog is intelligent. And so they uh, uh, enjoy playing with that dog because it's something that will roll and wrestle and tumble with them. Where some <laughs> other cats say, what are you doing? You know, all I want to do is lay around and sleep. Yeah, that's my cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay. But these want to be active. Okay, so uh, if you'd like more information on these Savannah cats, you can go to fox6.com. And, uh, of course, we will hook you up with that information. Uh, I just want to thank you, Sam Finley, for coming in this morning. It was my pleasure. Appreciate it. All right. And by the way, we do have um, a serval cat coming on our show tomorrow. So if you were wondering what a serval cat looks like, we'll have one here. We'll play with it. We won't take it home, though. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. All right.